I need to go to Vegas. In let's say like 12 hours, maybe like 10 hours, I need to get out of here and I'm gonna do knotless braids. Pat my hair up like this. For like, mm, since sun Saturday, today is Tuesday. And I I knew I was gonna do these braids, but I procrastinated. <laughs> so your girl's gonna do jumbo knotless. And that's it. I'm gonna do these jumbo knotless. And I'm gonna go to Vegas. That's what I'm gonna do. So I already clean. I already clean, condition it. I did my oil. I did my pink moisturizer to kind of help me put a little moisture in while. Um, so it didn't completely dry out. Now I'm going to try to blow dry my roots so I can get some really straight parts for my jumbo knotless braids. And then I'm gonna braid them. And hopefully I have enough time, I don't know. But whatever, we gonna do this. Yeah. Uh, first, since my hair is dry, I'm gonna spray down with a little bit of water, not much. I just need enough to like straighten my root really. That's all I really want to get my root straight. Always on cool, never on hot. Right, so that's pretty that's pretty good see i just ran my finger through there now i'm not gonna worry about this part because all this is this is it's irrelevant it's about to get braided up anyway so i don't really care about that um all i care about is straight roots so i'm gonna braid this back up so it's out of my way until i'm ready to part
And then I'm just gonna do my whole entire head right now. And we gonna see. We gonna see. How much that stretched out, dang. I mean, I have a lot of these little braids in my hair to do. I don't have a lot of time. What was I thinking? Why do I wait to the last minute to do stuff? I don't, I don't know why I do that. But I do it a lot. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna take all these braids out first. It is a little greasy, I'm not gonna lie. My hair feels a little bit greasy. I think it's from all that pink moisturizer and um, oil I put on my hair earlier. I mean, could I part my hair? Honestly, I might be straight enough to just go ahead and get to parting right now. All right, so let's go ahead and start parting because we don't have time. Brazer out. Now we need to pre-part for our jumbo knotless. I do have some breakage here, so I don't really know what happened. It just one day I woke up and it was gone. All right, so let's pre-part. How big do we want these to be though? You know what I'm saying? Like, jumbo is relative. Okay. Subjective? Okay, let's see. I want it to be like, Okay, noticeable difference in how easy it is to part on the side that I just blow dry versus the side that I didn't blow dry. It is like way harder to part on the side that I did not just blow dry. This means my parts are probably gonna be janky too, but I don't think I have time to do anything too perfect. So, I'm going to do the best with what I got. Oof. And it's like hella detangled. It's hella tangled too. It doesn't look straight. Okay, cool. All right, wait, don't lose it. All right, that's straight enough for me. My trick is I'm actually, I part over and over and over and over until I have a straight part. I'll show you when I get closer to the top. So this is one. All right, so I just keep going over and over the same section, but further and further until I have a straight part like this. So that's one row. Probably not gonna have too many. I'm gonna start at the top of my ear, which means I should end at the top of my ear on the other side. These might be too small. I think I need to go bigger than that. I'm gonna go above my ear. Oh, this stuff is, it is not letting me part for real. Like it is so tangled. I do not want to have to blow dry this stuff. I don't think I have time. 
And this is not, oh, just hold on. I think my hair is gonna make me blow dry it. Cause it is like so tangled. It is not letting me get a part in for real. Like, oh my gosh, that, that didn't do squat. Like, look at that. Okay, we, we have to blow dry. There's it's no, there's no other way around it. I was trying to avoid blow drying, but. Cause I worry I don't have time to blow dry. But honestly, I don't think I have time. I don't have, I don't think I have time not to blow dry. Like it's taking so long. All right, so. This is too big of a section. I'm gonna split this in half. Split this section in half. All right, we're gonna lightly spritz with water because my hair is already kind of detangled, but it's really just this root, child. And we're gonna go ahead and try to get these roots drop roots straighter. <laughs> Work some of that water in, spread it around. Yeah. Is it easier to part now? Even though this part is all crazy looking, can I part it more easily? Yes! That was Never mind the comb. That was way easier to part. So blow drying is, I gotta blow dry this root. Like just stay focused, keep it going. Granted I already parted this side, but I did not blow dry this root. So let's just do it, screw it. <laughs> Tangly, twisted -y. All right, last section. Let's see, look how smooth that is. That means I'm hoping I'll be able to far more easily part my hair. Roots 
have been blow dried. Let's see if I can get a better. Oh yeah, that was much easier. Let's see if I can get my jumbo parts. Oh, going. Oh, they don't seem straight to me. It seems like one side is higher than the other. Hold on. I'm gonna draw a line across. That's better. Okay.
Okay, I don't, so that's where that part is. Maybe I'll do another row here. It's like a row and then one more row. Is that one? Three rows? One, two, go over here and a row here, here.
right. I went wrong somewhere. Oh, no, that was bigger than All right, that's the best I can do right now. I can't spend any more time on this part. Lack of patience and lack of give. But damn. I don't give. All right, I'm not gonna worry about that. I don't have time. I'm not gonna worry about this either. Cause I don't have time. I'm gonna go through and do individual parts in a minute. I just gotta get these rows done. It's like I didn't even do anything. So much left. There's still so much left. Okay. That's my middle part. Hold up, middle part. Yeah, I'm gonna put these up. So it's gonna go in two. Wait, what did I 
I just did. Try to bite this in two. All right, so then to
I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it's going to do. I'm gonna create my sections for my jumbos. And I'm gonna, this is gonna be the easiest part, I do believe. So I'm gonna do huge ones like that is one. Pretty big, I think. One section is two. I feel like this should be three right here, but it's not even. I just what I should have did. I should have just looked at it. All right, let's try this again. We're going to do this again, but we're going to make this an even three. I'm going to divide this into an even three. Here, so we're gonna go one. Where is it? There's one. Hardest part for me, hands down, 
is always the parts. During my parting, honestly, I could have just braided it like this. Mm -hmm. Right, these are my three sections here.
All right, so I did have to stop recording for a second because I ran out of memory on my phone. And so I had to transfer some of that video off, but I couldn't stop waiting. I mean, I couldn't stop braiding. <laughs> I couldn't stop braiding. I could not wait. I had to continue braiding my hair. And so, <sighs> time is moving right on by. It's already like, well, 7.30. The last time I looked at the clock, which I don't even know how long ago that was. Um, I'm hoping it's not that far, but I've decided to change my technique up a little bit. Before I've gotten too far I'm not braiding my hair all the way down to the, I'm not braiding these all the way down to the end like I was instead I am gonna stop a little higher up and then just braid it down once they're all in I'm applying um, some pink moisturizer, some conditioner. It's not a leave-in conditioner. It's like regular conditioner. Um, but my hair really likes it when it's on it. So I just decided I'm going to put it on there. And I've applied some, I'm applying grease. I'm applying, um, I mean, I'm applying everything. I want to make sure my hair has moisture while it is braided up. I got some jam on it. And honestly, it's making it, it, it's all making it so much more manageable. Like the combination of like all, however many products I'm using. I'm using so many different products right now. Um, so anyway. Let me show you. I know it's gonna dry clear. I'm not worried about that. Some tangling going on. That's all right. See, boom. It looks kind of like loose, but it's not. I'm just gonna tuck it behind my ear. I'm not gonna braid it too far. I'm probably gonna braid it a little bit under where my hair stops and then I'm just gonna like pin it away so I can move on to the next one. How cute would this be though as a short? Like, like kind of like a short bob like there and my hair is too long for that, but that would be cute. I would totally do something like that. That would be cool. It's like a bob. Like my hair is no ma'am, we won't be doing that. I don't care how late I am. I'm gonna be looking all crazy now. Hold up. Kinda let it get away from me. Don't do that. Make sure she ain't it right. See that little piece? Okay. When that happens, I just put more gel on it so I can control it better. And there we go. I'm not gonna go all the way down. Just gonna go. A little bit to where my hair ends. Just, this is about where my hair stops. And these braids, you see the black? That's me. Oh no, this braid, I am I was doing so well. All right, we almost there. Clamp. All right, let me do this one first. All right. This part, 
situation doesn't look like it's as neat as I thought it was, but it's going to be all right. You know what? Life will go on. So. That looks like too small. Time. It really doesn't matter what order. I've not been doing this in order. It all kind of mixes in with itself anyway. You know, it really does. I'm just kind of just applying it as I see it. Some gel. Whatever gel agrees with your hair type, okay? With your hair. Not even your hair type, but whatever agrees, whatever gel you've used and it's worked well for you, go for it. That was some jam, lastly. So that's one, two, that's five things. I put on my hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right. This one is a little bit smaller, I can tell, than all the others. So, I don't know. But.
I'm gonna see if on the next one I can get a lot closer so you can see like what I'm doing for real. Well, maybe when I get closer to this air. Okay, I'll show you that. All right, so. Add our product. Rubbing it in. You can rub from the ends upward if you like. I think people, I mean, people do that because the ends are usually like the worst. This is my gel. All right, I'm a three pieces ready to go. Sorry. Sometimes the ends get dry before you get to the bottom. So you gotta kind of like maybe push the product down a little bit. I mean, I, I obviously oversaturate my hair with product and it takes forever to dry. It really does, but it does dry and it does turn clear. It does not, I've yet to do my braids and the product not clear up for me. So use your own discretion when you're doing it. Like, you know, sometimes you're going to have to test it out. And sometimes, yeah, it might not go so well. You might have some buildup or whatever. But um, I've tested these combinations or this combination. Well, not this particular, but all these products and more. <laughs> I've tested them together. 
I've tested so many different combinations of product and um yeah it always gets dry so I'm gonna trust it and um live my life and if it don't oh well I mean I'll figure out what I'm gonna do then okay so I'm gonna stop there for now I gotta finish this head. I mean, we moving though. Look how much we've done. I'm already up to, I think this is my halfway halfway mark and it is eight o'clock. <sighs> Can I be done by four? No, I need to be done by 2 a.m. 2 a.m. All these braids need to be in my hair by 2 a.m. So, next six, to start from the back, my way forward. I'm actually getting a little excited. I kind of feel like now that I'm at the halfway mark, I might actually have a chance. <gasps> Praise the Lord. Don't get too happy yet though. Gotta get it done. be a little shedding sometimes a breakage I don't really know I don't know what's going on Yeah, it's a breakage, but I'm not even going to worry about it, honestly, because, I mean, why? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes hair breaks off, and it grows back, and it breaks, and it grows back, and it breaks, and it grows back. <laughs> I do trim my hair. I don't think I'm ready for a trim yet, though, Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. Stress free zone, you feel me? All right. All right, and then I'm gonna do my gel. I didn't do any oil because my hair is extremely oily from before. So I ain't gonna worry about oil. But sometimes I use oil. Like while I'm doing this part, I'll add oil to it. But that is just not necessary because your girl is like, do you see that shoulder? Oily. Oily. All right, and now some of this jam. I keep catching strays, like stray hairs. Keep feeling them. Keep feeling them. All right. Oh no, that's a tangle, honey. That's a, 
a knot. And just like that, not anymore. My hands are sticky too. Oof. So it's like the hair is like, you know, sticky. It does take a lot of practice. I practiced a lot. I always braid my own hair just because it gives me an opportunity to practice. And I would get better and better and better and better. And then I would learn new techniques, new ways of doing it, new types of braids to try. Um, but I never stop practicing on my braids. Like I always, anytime I wanted to braid my hair, if I was going to get my hair braided, oh, it was going to be me because it gave me an opportunity to learn how to braid it. And you just got to be, you know, patient with yourself, patient with your hair, you know, your hair is doing its best. It don't know what's going on. So be paying your learning. So don't beat up on yourself too much. But keep at it, keep practicing, and eventually you'll get better. I don't even know how long it took me really to learn how to braid. Um, I feel like I was always braiding my hair. I mean, since I was a little girl, since I was in elementary school, I've been doing my own hair. Like my mom would take me to the salon, but I've always been braiding, doing my hair, curling my hair. I was priming my hair at one point, making wigs, doing sew-ins, dyeing. I mean, I've done so much. Not even just the my hair, just the hair in general. I've, I've, been, I've done a lot. Not because I like to do hair, but because I like to have my hair done. <laughs> Huge difference. Huge difference. I like to see my hair done all the time and it gets expensive. So guess what? Your girl got to do her, her own, on her own sometimes to say that coin. And I've gotten so good at it. Hell, I prefer my way to going somewhere else, honestly. Prefer doing it myself to going anywhere else. I used to get paid. People used to like pay me to do it. But it gets old for me. It's not something that I enjoy doing. I like doing it for myself. It's actually really peaceful for me and therapeutic. So I use this time to just like, you know, sit still and focus my mind on one thing. I focus my mind on a bunch of other things, but it gives me something to do with my hands and like just kind of zone out. And I do know, listen, if it ever came down to it <laughs> and I needed to like make some money, guess what? Oh, I'm gonna braid somebody here. <laughs> if I'm ever short on some bread, look. I'm ever short on some money, I'm gonna just start braiding hair. Cause there's always somebody who don't want, who wants their hair braided, but don't want to do it. Always. I'm one of those people, but I'm just not one of those people who want to pay for it. I also noticed too, when I braid my own hair, it grows. 
I don't have issues with my edges like people do. I have, my hair is like braided all the time. I braid my hair so much. I recently cut my hair. Look how much it's grown already. Like last time I cut it, when I cut it, I cut it in January, I think. Yeah, New Year's. I cut it for New Year's. It is July 19th. And let's see how much my hair has grown in the past six and a half months. And when I take this out, it'll probably be August. Trying to get y'all as many opportunities to learn. So that's why I'm like trying to record each braid, but I will have to stop and just. I'll put it on the other one. Wait, I don't like doing it that way. I'm gonna do it like this. So I think one of my challenges is because I can't see the back of my head. I don't really be knowing how long my braids are until I'm pretty much done. Yeah, these knots don't really help much either. Anyway, I don't be knowing. So I get to the end. And man. Maybe all different lengths sometimes. I mean, it's still cute. Don't get me wrong. But. It be different lengths. Lengths. So. I'm probably gonna have to do that. I might just cut them, like, not have them be super long. Just have them be like mid back. Just cut them all evenly across. So, you know, like burn, burn the ends or something. I'm also not the best at hiding my hair, but. It honestly doesn't bother me that much, so. All right, so I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna stop video and I will show you the last at the top. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it'll be before two. Hoping I'll be done it with this around one o'clock midnight. I'll have this whole head with braids in. Prob they won't be all the way to the end, I know that, but they'll at least have them in. All right, so that's my last one. Ooh, this is a big one. I'd love to see it. They're really better so I can move them Go on.
Oh, that's a thick section. Was that for real? Did I mean to do that? I don't think I meant to make this one so big, but we here now. <laughs> Your girl is not going backwards. I'm not undoing the other ones. So, guess what? Shall, shall we proceed? Yes, indeed. Gel in here. I mean, it's not gel. This is grease. Oh, geez. Confuse me. There's my gel right here. I, don't know, I feel like this is minimal risk. You know, putting all these products on here. That's why I'm not worried about it. Although I still don't know what's going to happen though. You never know. I mean, I told you I got a little uh broken off part at the top of my head, so I think it that was from me um using a clamp on my hair and it just not being good. Uh, I know this particular section of my hair feels kind of rough. She breaking down, but she don't want to. I'm definitely gonna buy one of those things that I can like do all my little hair sections. I don't have to keep getting up every time. All right, here we go. Last one. This one got a lot of product on it. A lot. It's just that my hair felt so rough at the ends, but I don't know, maybe I overdid this one a little bit. Cause like, dang. That's a lot. I don't even see braid. All I see is product. I don't think this was, I think I overdid it on this one. I 
Listen, I don't have time to evaluate. All I got time to do is keep it moving. All right, so, yeah. All right, it's 10 o'clock. I need to tie these down. I know it's already fuzzy. Oh, I got these little short hairs everywhere. Do a wheel. Actually, it's almost 11. It's 1040. It's almost 11. So we done great. Still have to braid the ends, but that's like, I can do that anytime. I can do that at the airport. I can do that on the way to the airport. I can do it on the plane. And then when I get to the hotel, I'll just dip it in hot water. So I didn't get a great grip on these things. So it's a little fuzzy at the root. Like they're not super tight, but at least they done. Shoot. I'm not even gonna worry about all that. For real. That is what gel and a head wrap is for. Last one, kiddos. Here we go.
do this all the way to the bottom. Then I'm gonna tie my hair down. Can't take this off. It's never coming off. Until I'm fully dry. I always double up. All right, now I'm gonna braid these bottom parts and dip it in some hot water. Yes, yeah, man. All right, I'm gonna take these out. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see what it do. But for now, I'm just gonna like, I can't do it right this second, but soon, very soon. I shall continue this feat. Hey, but look, don't stop now. packing <sighs> catch my 630 flight to Las Vegas and um, I guess I'll check in when I get there we'll see what this hair doing Ooh, child. All right, so braids are done. 
it's july 20th i'm in vegas the next day i tied it down the entire time it's mostly dry you see it's a little bit damp here still because it's still drying but it dried clear for the most part so i'm just gonna let that part continue to dry i'll probably tie it down some more just to make sure it's dry and stays like this but look look it i never get my like braids even but i don't really care i'm not worried about that so much i'll probably wear it in a bun a lot it's very hot here like it's it's sweltering um but this is them didn't it turn out good turned out good okay come in It turned out cute. Mm -hmm. Dipped. I mean. So I'm just gonna enjoy the city of Las Vegas. I'm thinking I will check in and let you know how these braids hold up for the time that I'm here in Vegas. Um, for now, I'm gonna go to the pool. I'm not gonna get my hair wet. Um, Cause I need it to fully dry. But I am gonna get in the water. So I'm just gonna tie this up. Ensure that it continues to dry super duper flat. It's looking good. We're on the right path. Don't want any lines. Um, but I'll keep you updated on how these braids hold me down if they start looking crazy or not nah. i think not nah. um but yeah peace all right so my vegas trip is coming to a close and um i wanted to give you an update on my hair I've been wearing it in a bun a lot, but I did, I mean, it's not that I can't wear it down. It's just been so hot in Las Vegas and I've been swimming like every day. Like I love swimming. And so um, I've been wearing it like this, like seriously, one, for these to be jumbo braids and to be so easy and like flat in a bun, like I have to do this. I have to do the jumbo braids again. I. I remember when I was putting these braids in, I bought like eight packs of hair just in case because I didn't know how much hair I was going to need. And I only used like four packs. So this has been the, like these braids have been the most, I guess, like the easiest to put into like a ponytail or whatever. Because I didn't use as much hair, I suppose. But they don't look shallow, which is great. Um, but I want you to see it because they did get wet. <laughs> of course, I was swimming every day, so eventually they're gonna get wet. I would, um, so when I would go to the pool, I would just like put my my hair up in a bun on the top of my head, like up here, and <clears throat> do a little top knot, like something like this, much neater and more restricted like it wouldn't it wouldn't be all over the place but it would be in a top knot and i would um take my head scarf and tie it this way like this right <clears throat> much neater but you know just for the sake of giving you an example and i would go swimming <clears throat> And I'm a good swimmer, so I can actually swim and keep my head above the water. But of course, rising hair would get wet sometimes. So that kind of um, got wet a little bit. And then I noticed I am getting a little bit fuzzy up here, um, possibly from it getting wet, I don't know. Or, you know, I mean, I'm a 4C, I'm a 4CBA, I guess. Um, 
So, you know, my texture is going to start to like peek out. Look at that, you know? Um, but I'm not really tripping about this. I can probably use a crochet needle and pull these, pull that part back through or whatever. And I honestly, I've been wearing it in a bun so much. I don't even care. Um, I just like it for the bun and I like the color. So this is it when it's down, which again, I haven't really, this is just the, this is really the worst one that I have seen unravel, but everything else, like, look, they're still cute, even though they got kind of damp. I'll show you. Um, and so today is Sunday. I did these, what, Tuesday night. Got here on Wednesday. Um, and they're still dope. So just an update. If you do them, I want to, I want to like know how it goes. Like, I'll let you girl. Bye. Also, I will say like my hair. One other thing I wanted to add is that, um, like all the product that I put on there is not like greasy or whatever during the day. See, there's nothing on my hand, but it is still a little like moisturized or whatever. Like I can feel it and I can also like, you know, I don't know, I can just feel it on things. Um, but it still feels fine. Like it's, it's not really leaving any residue anyway I might lay my head up against something <laughs> and see like a little like sheen there from my head but um it's not that deep so yeah like I I definitely recommend like putting the product on there finding a combination of products that works for you and your hair that will dry clear like you have to just experiment a little bit there will be some trial and error possibly that's kind of the part of learning. So, you know, see what works for you and um, try my combination. Maybe it'll help you out. If not, you know, try something else. All right, peace.